In this video you will learn how to create custom data annotations in MVC. MVC framework has great extensibility feature and because of this we can create our own customized data annotation attributes. For example on your screen you can see we have product name and price properties mark width required field. But when I run this application and try to create a new record here like A, B, C, at the rate, question mark, dot and price 12 and hit on create, we are able to enter at the rate of sign and question mark and dot. It has no meaning. So what if I don't want to accept these symbols with the product name? So to fix this issue we have various approaches for example I could use I validatable object and validate our text or I could validate the data entered by user inside the controller. Both approaches has few limitations. So we need to create some attribute here like required. The name of the new attribute may be exclude care. And I could define the list of symbols here that we don't want user to enter like question mark dot etc but exclude care actually is not a system defined means this is not defined in the data annotation library so we we can define this so this is known as the custom data annotation so let's define exclude care custom data annotation for this I could go to model folder and add a new class. I will name it exclude care. Hit add. As you know all of the validation annotations like required range, max length, etc. ultimately derive from validation attribute base class. So we will also derive this exclude care class from validation attribute. And for this we need to add using system component dot data annotation namespace here. Now to implement custom validation logic we need to override one of the is valid method provided by the base class. Is valid method takes two parameters. First one is validation context which gives access to the model type, model object instance and friendly display name of the property you are validating among the other piece of information and second value of the object type which is nothing but the information or the string type by the user in the text box. So I will write a method here protected override validation result object value and validation context validation context and now I will return here validation context sorry validation result dot success message method name would be is valid now it is okay now as I said this value will contain the string type by the user in the text box and th this string may have the symbol we don't want to accept and validation context is nothing but the model object instance friendly display name and model type etc. Now so far we have the value typed by the user in is valid method but we don't have the list of characters that we don't want to accept. We can do this by adding a constructor to the exclude care class. So let's define the constructor here and before defining the constructor let's create a private field here private read only a variable of a string type the name will be cares and the constructor here public exclude exclude care and this will accept a string cares this string is nothing but the symbols that we don't want to accept with the name and this constructor will also initialize the error message to the base class contains invalid care character and this will initialize the above character that uh, above private field with cares 
sorry cares now one more thing we need to write our logic here which will go and check if value not equals null then do all this loop through the string i equals 0 i less than cares dot length and i plus plus inside this create a variable value as a string equals value dot to a string and if value as a string contains the character oops now if it contains any matching value pass this error where error message equals format error message validation validation context dot display name and then return new validation result oops validation result with error messages now this value will have the string type by the user and this char will have the characters we don't want to accept with the value now if the type the value in the text box is null we don't want to do all this and directly return the success result if it has value has some something means user if user typed something in the text box loop through the typed data and check if there is any matching character that we don't want to accept if yes pass the error message and the error message will be the name of the field contains invalid character now build the application here and go to the model you will be able to see here no error now if i want this field let's make some changes here i'll make this string and price will have address and make it name now i don't want to accept at the rate of character with the address of the user i'll again type here exclude exclude care exclude care and i'll define the symbol that we don't want to accept with the address now let's build the project here and update the controller because we made the changes in the pro property and all the views are still in old with older model so add the controller here with the name demo and model class is this and context is this override all the existing views and run the application now type something here i have menu and dot at the rate sign and here bukaro and try to create it you can see name contains invalid character message here because we have used dot and at the rate of sign and with the model here and you can see with the name property here we have excluded the character exclamation sign at the rate of sign and dot sign means with the name text box we cannot pass these symbols and with the address we cannot pass at the rate of sign let's delete all this and type at the rate of sign with the address and try to create now name is okay but address has some problem address contains invalid character right once i delete this symbol and try to create and you can see a new record successfully added now again i can make the changes in exclude character any time like i don't want to accept 1 2 3 with the name i can just type it here and build the project and go to the browser and refresh it and you can see i am not able to type 1 2 1 
with the name or just one so in this video you learned how to create custom data annotation attribute and add it with the property and utilize it now at any time you can see here the message name contains invalid character you can localize this message at any time by just passing the new error message that we learned in the previous video you can browse through my channel and you can see there is a video by title globalization and localization I hope you enjoyed this video thank you